Okay, you're gonna like this one, but look what I found. Oh, you guys keep wondering how good it is, so you know what we should do? Let's see how good it is. Oh, I'm totally stealing it. That's right. Jake, you can't take that out of the store, well, man. Well, I need to, I gotta test it out. Hey guys, what's up? My name's Nathan, I'm from Milwaukee Tool. And uh, I think we might actually give Jake the opportunity to take this mower outside and put it to the test. You know, a lot of people, there's a lot of naysayers out there kind of doubting the capabilities of the Milwaukee M18 fuel lawnmower. Let's put it to the test, what do you think? Let's take it to the grass. All right, Nathan, if you're gonna make me, you know, hang out with you and not steal it, then at least tell us something about it. All right, so to start off, for those of you that aren't familiar with this product yet, this is the M18 21 inch self-propelled Milwaukee M18 fuel mower. Now this is a brand new product to Milwaukee's OPE line, the outdoor products line. Um, super exciting, we did have some naysayers at the start, you know, battery operated, well, you know, it's good. I, I just had a customer uh, take one home last week and absolutely loved it. He sent me a video of him ripping through a bush in his yard. He literally just put the deck over it and dropped it on top, ate the bush up like it was nothing. Um, that high lift mode engaged and it just took that bush apart. But what we've got here is a uh, all metal deck with hard ABS plastic encasing that deck. Um, it is a five speed self propelled push mower. So in order to engage the mower, you simply pull back on this, and this is to start the self-propelled function, and then you press down on here. The more you press, the faster you go in that single speed. If you want to ramp up that speed, you, you're trying to get the job done faster. You right here have see the tortoise and the jackrabbit. You can ramp it up from speed one all the way to speed five. And speed five is, uh, let me say, pretty impressive. I used to mow lawns uh, as somewhat of a landscape contractor. I grew up with that you know, gas-powered Toro that everyone had, and it was great. I never imagined, though, that a product like this, you know, battery-operated, would be as capable as it is. So in order to start the blade, once again, we push down here, and we simply press this button. Now, at the moment, we have no bag on. We're just going to mow straight down. about this one inch mower is the easy adjustment of changing the height of the deck. Um, many of you are probably probably familiar with having to change the height individually wheel to wheel. On this guy we simply pull this stick and we can raise it up from uh, height one all the way to height seven. So you have the ability to kind of manage this tool a little bit easier than you know some of your traditional gas mowers that you've you know grown up with. On this tool, this tool does run off of two of our high output M18 12 amp batteries, does come with two batteries and a dual port supercharger. That is nearly $650 in value of batteries and chargers alone. At the moment, this, this mower is retailing for just about $1,000. Um, check your local Home Depot for more accurate pricing as that may change over time. Uh, we'll see. But that's kind of the gist of this mower, Jake. Uh, what, what do you think? Uh, you gotta do it. I don't know, Come man. On. I don't know if this store is gonna look at be how happy clean it with is. me doing that. Everyone keeps giving me a little bit of gripe about my tools being clean, so we gotta at least make the underside of this dirty. All right, I think we can, I think we can I maybe think mess that, around it with it a little bit. I was gonna bit say, there. that seems tall enough back there that you could shred that. All right, so, um, I guess we could give it a shot. It's it's obviously more weeds uh, than it is grass, but this mower is actually uh, it does have almost what they I would consider it almost like a turbo mode. It's a high lift mode. This button right here it ramps up the RPMs actually of of the mower. So uh, we could probably try it out with that. You yeah, want to give it a let's go? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So like I said, we'll run it in high lift mode. Um, we're gonna go through some of the edge of these weeds here at the side of the depot, um, and we are gonna mulch straight down. Um, and see what it's all about.
impressive, huh? I didn't even think I heard the motor change. <laughs> so here's the big question. Does Home Depot pay you guys extra for landscaping? <laughs> I wish they did. Um, so what you saw there, once again, is the high lift mode on this mower. Um, I mean, what would you say? This is close to two feet tall weeds. Um, we are in southwest Florida here. Um, it ate through that no problem at all. Uh, this mower is capable of doing uh, running for about 60 minutes on the standard mode. About three quarters of an acre is what you're going to get out of it. With that high lift mode, you're going to get about 40 minutes of run time if you're going to be running it continuously with that mode uh, selected. Well, uh, I thought I was getting off uh, with just, you know, a warning, but it turns out they are going to make me wash this. Uh, but I know the number one thing that you guys are all asking, uh, why doesn't it have a freaking pack out bracket on it? I mean, seriously, it's it's Milwaukee. It should have a pack out bracket. Everyone wants to put it on a pack out. Oh, and you know, there's another thing. Uh, this thing stands up just like the easy sto to uh, store ones or whatever you want to call it. You can put this in a small shed. Uh, oh, oh, we're gonna get a we're gonna get a quick end product demo. So you simply turn these knobs, folds over, turn the knob again to lock it in place, and it stands up after you wash my mower, Jake. Uh, we can put it in the back of your truck, no problem. Uh, that'll be uh, 999 Oh, yeah, uh, about that. Uh, I need to pack out of here.